Professor Ebo said the country was experiencing shortage in the supply of rice and urged the beneficiaries to reciprocate government's gesture by ensuring maximum results from the program. He said it was government's desire to equip the trainees with scientific-based knowledge to enable them to compete favorably with farmers worldwide. He listed the items in the starter pack for the cultivation of rice to include the leads of two hectares of land suitable for rain-fed rice cultivation, mechanized land preparation, certified seeds, mechanized planting of seeds, fertilizer and herbicides. Also on the starter pack are harvesting bags, monthly stipends of 15,000 naira and cash allowance of 50,000 naira as well as technical assistance. Nigeria is currently experiencing up to three metric tons deficit of rice on an annual basis so we have nice scope we don't we don't find market for rice and that is one one of the reasons why we chose rice as uh, one of the priority commodities in the Yagep uh, uh, initiative also because you can cultivate rice within a short period and then harvest and then get your income. The Commissioner for Agriculture and Natural Resources, Mr. Austin Jikizia, represented by Mr. Pius Okonko, said the ministry would work with the state government to enable it to achieve its aim of making the youths economically strong. A major rice farmer in the state, Mr. Ramos Guana, said each trainee was entitled to two hectares of land and expressed confidence that at least 3.5 tons of rice would be produced from each hectare. The beneficiaries thanked the state government for taking them off the streets and promised to fully utilize the opportunity given them. Because we feel that the government is not doing well. It's not doing well. As a result, most of us have hatred for the government. But with this, we now see that the government loves us and we really realize it. Nobody will say bad of the government if something like this is going on. The lands have been harrowed and the other, every other thing has been done. But we can't imagine ourselves putting our crops down and after everything, cattle will come and invade our farms. For Delta TV News, Caroline Ubini.